Oh, he just smashes the floor. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. In between the last video and this one, I've actually done a lot of, um, not a lot of story, but you know the bit where you have to get the, the war chiefs, you have to brand them. I did all that in my own time because it's not really much of a story progression, it's just me repeating the same thing over and over again, branding a war chief, getting him on my side, you know, doing the bodyguard stuff. So we're just going to do focus on main mission story. So we're going to actually catch up with Torvin in this video and see what else he has to teach us about the wild beasts in the um, in Mordor. So we've got Torvin, there's more to teach you about hunting beasts before you face the great white grog. So let's do this. Here he is, big boy Torvin. Hope you're not put off by my wee scars. Oh, not at all. I actually have a few of my own. <laughs> oh, I'll bet. What type of battle scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters! <laughs> oh, or did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. Huh. The mighty Grog, you give me these. And he also took my hunting partner. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> Now, I don't think there's much left in the story, but so this is what lesson do you one of the last few missions we've got. Shooting Krabane to prepare us for the mighty Grog? You want to hunt Grog? Then so you shall. But not just any Grog. This is a rare one. It's territorial. Strong enough to claim land as its own. And you and me, we're trespassing. Tell me, Captain, you ever slay a Grog before? Today will be the first of many. Now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this, Captain. Oh, since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. <laughs> so I assume you have a plan to kill this Grog? I do, Captain. And since you're so good at taking orders, I'll tell you how, step by step. Step one, when he's crunching on an Uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. But why not his throat? There is one place Graugs aren't covered in spiky scales. They don't call a weakness a Graugs heel for nothing! You want me to sidle up to this beast? If you can manage it without being crushed, yes! So we're gonna have to take his ankle out and make him fall to his knee. It's pretty similar to him. If you ever played Shadow of the Colossus, that's how you normally get on top of the Colossi. There it goes! What a fine, fine specimen! And it'll meet a fine end. All right, so we're gonna actually stealth up to it, sneak up to it behind an unaware grog to be square to bleed it. Bleeding the grog will cause massive damage and attract caragos. How will it attract caragos? The smell of blood of grog or something? Okay, so let's say I'm just go into stealth mode. Even though this is so freaking fast, I've been playing out Alien Isolation, and this is so fast. <laughs> okay, we've actually been spotted. <laughs> Tim, take two on that. Okay, so this time we're not actually gonna rush in. Right, he's killed all the Uruks that he was trying to get, I think. So he's sitting down and having a little munch on the Uruks. So let's sneak up to his ankle. Bleed attack, here we go. Now... Now what? We... Jump on him. Mount a cargo. Okay, so let's just get a bit high actually, because that's how you mount Karagors from above, unless you counter them. I need a Karagor for speed. We need to get a bit closer. There we go. Got the import. So we need to tame this guy first. We're right underneath the Grog, though. Sounds easy enough. Shoot him in the head. So we got to lower the grow to Torvin first. So he's gonna charm him, <laughs> he said. And then we have to shoot him in the head. 
So there's Torvin on the left hand side right there. Torvin's gonna do something. It's gonna distract him. There we go. He's shot in the head now. Shoot this only girl in the head and fully charge the shot to stun it. Yeah. I already did that. Isn't he stunned? Is he stunned now? Oh, you have to shoot him a few times. In the eye? Is that necessary? And now... What step four? There is no step four. It should be dead. You must have done it wrong. <laughs> must have done it wrong. I'm following your orders. Well, that's your problem. Think for yourself. Think for yourself. Alright. Ability unlocked. Grog Hunter. Approach gain. You gain the ability to mount a stunned Grog. Approach a stunned Grog and press R1. You can also. To mount it. Yeah. You can also press R1 to mount a stunned Grog from above. So you can do it from the ground. So let's say. Um, let's get off this mount. Move next to him. I have an idea. What are you doing? You can't find so, it reminds me so much of God of War when you take on a big boss. Oh, oh, oh! Whoa, shit. So, the whole plan here was to kill the Grog, but we've actually possessed it. So, you can attack with a square in the area, then you can also grab an e Oryx to regain health. So, as soon as we've got full health, we'll just go on a killing spree. Oh, he just smashes the floor. <laughs> Taking a bit of damage there, so let's eat a grow uh, Auric. How much health do you gain back? Not a lot. You don't get much health at all. Can I shoot? Not really. You can shoot, but you don't really you can't really aim properly. Eating is kind of, I don't know if it's worth doing because it takes time and also you don't gain that much health. Let's eat this last guy. Your life ends with the Kill sting the of my blade. Aww. I wonder if you can dismount him and he'll just free roam. I, the AI will fight. That's interesting. Say, it's a wee bit unusual to ride a ground. Nothing like a little improvising, eh? <laughs> Alright, Captain. That's it. You should instinct, gumption, respect. <laughs> Training's over. Got guts. Let's go spill some, eh? Alright, so we got Torvin by our side now. He's, we've gained his respect. Hunting partner's the success. The Mordor doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The Seven Rings of Power did not turn the Dwarf Kings to wraiths, as the Nine Rings did to men. They are a stubborn as stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has sworn to destroy them. Alright, so how many missions have we got left? We've got a camp mission there. We've actually got another Torven mission over there. The Great White Grog. So we're actually going to take on the big Grog now. That was just a casual Grog. And <laughs> we're going to take on the big Great White one now. It's always white, isn't it? Great White is like the rare species. So we're going to make our way over there to this mission. Alright guys, so we've we got this mission here. We're at Team Torvin. We're going to actually go for the big Great White Grog. It's not just a normal Grog. He's actually... The most rarest Grog you've ever seen, <laughs> I guess. The Great White. Torvin! Heads up, Captain! <laughs> Time to go hunting! <laughs> All right, so we gotta tame this first. Mount the Karago. Oh, come on, I spammed X there. So there's different ways to mount Karagos now we lower. We can jump up and up, up high, jump on top of it. That's probably the easiest way. 
Oh shit. He's jumped up with us. We can also counter him. Oh, come on. There we go. So we're on the cargo. <laughs> Got that eventually. I assume you know the path. The real question is, are you ready to travel it? That's a game, just get a plant there to get health. This way. Whatever happens during the hunt, think what would Torben do? Actually, that's a good life lesson for you to follow always. I pray your training sticks, or else you'll stick to the wall once the mighty Grog hurls you there. I'm ready to fight the Grog. And that's just what you do. Fight! No art, no finesse! The hunt isn't about swinging and slashing, it's bigger than that! From your perspective, Dwarf, everything is bigger. Yes, this Grog is very, very big! Oh, oh wait, you're mocking me! Grogs are one of the oldest species of Mordor, and the deadliest by far. It's been a long time since I faced this Grog. Let us hope time wasn't as gentle to him as it was to me. My old partner and I once tracked a Grog from Mount Dolmed to Nogrod. We finally slayed it and got stuck under his leg for two days. Ah, those were fun times. The last time I saw the beast was when my old partner and I tracked it into his dwelling. How did you get out alive? Luck. The growl knocked me senseless. When I came to, it had ended my partner. Facing that creature alone was a death sentence. I'd been hunting this growl for almost a decade. That's a lot of years of dedication to one beast. Dedication? Or a sign you preach better than you hunt. Oh, that's funny, Captain. I'll be sure to laugh when the beast eats you alive. The mighty growl will be my legacy. Dwarves will tell tales of Torvan the Hunter for generations. And I'll have them throw your name in there somewhere. Alright. So it seems we only need Karagos to kind of like give us the speed to get around the Grog. We don't actually need it to mount it. The Karagors are too quiet. I don't think the Grog is home. <laughs> then we go in and we wait. An ambush? How military. I like it. How big is this guy gonna be? It's gonna be huge, isn't he? It's an axe. That's just as sharp as the day our father made it. <laughs> Ooh. New ability time. Found some old treasure. So this is the um, the chisel that we found. It seems that was used to make the the rings. Oh my god. 
It's brave. I thought we were jumping on it. It jumped over it. Alright. This ain't gonna be easy. We haven't got our cargo anymore, have we? So, the legendary Gorog. Oh, shit. Never mind, we improvise. We imp yeah, move away from them to get them to charge. I must attack from afar. So maybe we need to make him charge into a wall. A shot to, get to the skull will disorient him. So shoot the grog in the head to disorient him, then dodge out the way. And then he's probably gonna run into a wall, right? There you go. Near the stun guard to attack. Press R1. Come on, go, 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 go. I'm stuck behind a fucking rock. Uh, let's do that again then. Should we shoot him in the head? So shoot him in the head when he's charging. Okay, I got this. Did we do it? Let's get. Oh, we can attack him. It's quite dark in here, I can't really see. That's so God of War right there. Oh, hello. We could do it having some more focus to slow down time. So when he starts to charge, that's when we shoot him in the head. Shoot Grog's onto the Grog's hand. So, um. Grog's gonna try and heal, isn't he, with the ghouls? That's the bonus objective. Is that one? That's one. Come on, I shot him in the hand right there. That's it. So maybe we should just kill the the the, um, the little guys actually. No, you shit! I was gonna hit that. See this time. There we go, right next to him. Now we can do it. Okay, so we need to kill the ghouls. It's easy to just kill them, I think, then try and shoot them out of his hand. No more elf shots. I'd say that was a headshot, right? Now I shall finish this hunt. Hey, top in. Oh, please don't die in the process of this. Oh, he's so brave. <laughs> Oh my god. Brutal. <laughs> I think he's dead. <laughs> well, that's what I call beast hunting, eh? Indeed, indeed. Next time I'm not gonna let you have all the fun. Oh, no, no. This is the last time. I have other prey to pursue. Well, you need help on your journey, so what do you say? We put no, some no, chance no, on. I have to do this on my own. If you survive, <clears throat> come near the Blue Mountains. Eh? <laughs> and lots of friends that will drink until their kegs run dry. Well, I've seen how much a dwarf can drink. <laughs> I do hope our paths cross again. So long, Torvin. Right. Now, how do I get you out of here? <laughs> he eats that, doesn't he? He eats what he hunts. What is that going to taste like? <laughs> Looks so fatty. Alright, so that's the Great White Grog dead. 
So we're finished now with 12 in and we can now do other stuff. I think the only things we've got left to do in the whole game really are the slave missions and then the, the actual main campaign of um, getting the the black captains killed and all that, the black hand and all that. So uh, thanks for watching guys, see you guys next time, bye!